Hi everyone. So today I've just come to share with you another journal that I've made and this one is, uh, I'm calling it Flowers and Butterflies because that's generally what I've used throughout. I've used digital kits from Artie Mays, My Porch Prints and Tsunami Rose. Uh, the journal measures seven and a quarter by five and a quarter, two signatures, 72 pages front and back and there's lots of pockets and lots of ephemera inside and that is the back. This cardstock has been sewn onto coffee dyed cardstock. It's still a pretty soft cover even though it's got a spine. There is some Tyvek in there to, to make that nice and um, strong. Uh, as you can see it's been stitched. We've got a topper here and it's just layers of cardstock, digital papers, this image from Marty Mays, some trims here and some sari silk. This is um, a freebie from Marty Mays. This will be listed in my shop for sale if anyone is interested and let's go inside. <clears throat> I hope everyone is keeping well, keeping safe and keeping busy. <laughs> uh, I've done some stenciling on the inside. Uh, the main pages that I used are the freebie kit called the Thank You Kit from Artie Mays and you can find the link to that on Artie Mays and Friends on Facebook um, and it just directs you to how to get it. So here we've just got a nice simple lacy pocket and like I said this is the freebie kit from Artie Mays and I've just stuffed all the pockets full of uh, floral ephemeras and butterflies and they've all been backed. Um, the ephemera and well apart from these ones these have just been coffee dyed if you back them they'd be really bulky um, and then this one I'm hoping this doesn't take too long to upload because we have had um, I've had terrible reception um, Wi-Fi reception um, out in my shed and the house is fine for some reason it's just me out here so it's really annoying me. <laughs> so we've got another lacy pocket here and the uh, cardstock is a floral cardstock. So you can kind of see that poking through. Here we just have a tag that I've made and a little booklet that I've made with scrap pieces of paper. Use them scraps up. This image is from uh, My Porch Prints. And then we have, oh, and I also use stuff from the old design shop. That's Etsy as well got to mention that so here is just a, a little tuck over and it's just a little notebook thingy bobber <laughs> you've seen I've showed how to make these I've got a playlist called let's make you'll find things like that on there so yeah, I mean you don't have to you could actually paper clip it on there but it's nice to just hang it over just like that and I think I was totally off frame then uh, here we've just got a large tag that I've made we have a dictionary page and a book page. This is from Tsunami Rose. I've put some crocheted trim on there. We've got a pocket here and we have a postcard that is from Tsunami Rose. The pocket is from Artie Mays from a different kit. Um, can't remember which one it is now. I think it's one of the shabby um, kits because I'm using up some of the stuff that's in my big tubs of uh, leftovers. Uh, this is from My Porch Prints. I think that's called shabby butterflies and we have some ephemera this is from uh, my digital kit which is a 15 piece uh, kit this is from the old design shop so my 15 piece kit is all just uh, it is original um, vintage ephemera which I've scanned and enhanced a little bit <clears throat> lots of journaling room here we have a, a pocket and this is from my porch prints. The butterfly as well is from my porch prints. I can't get that out then. My porch prints. Um, a tag. Uh, a lovely journal card. Very uh, vintage and shabby. And this with the butterfly on there. That's from my porch prints as well. Like I said, lots of journaling room. <clears throat> Here we just have a, a postcard pocket with some dainty trim and then we have a tag, a postcard, a little tag, that's these two tags are from the old design shop, a little double mason jar, that's from Artie Mays. Onto the second signature, got another pocket here, 
think I might have put that one upside down, but the writing, because it looked upside down, <laughs> so I just covered it with a dainty trim, so you can't see it. It might be the right way, I just thought the stamp should be up there, that's why, but the writing kind of looked upside down, so I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, a tag, another postcard, the um, Tsunami Rose, her postcard kit, you get tons of postcards in in that one bundle so it's really uh really good buy and and they're obviously all different i think you get oh possibly six sheets with four on each and so yeah that's a lot isn't it <clears throat> it's a lot um or it might be two bundles i can't remember but i know that you get a lot in the one bundle um another tag another one of these flippy things with the booklet and uh this stamp says it's got the little crown it says always wear your invisible crown these words here from Artie Mays again they're a freebie on the back here we have a pocket I showed her to do this the other day um on one of my let's make videos we have a little shabby chic journal card and that one and that tag done some stamping and some stenciling yes yeah, so I'm hoping my internet is going to be much better tomorrow so that I can do my live because I really missed doing that last night because it's nice interacting with you all um I tried for ages but it was just buffering and wouldn't connect and I just gave up I gave up <laughs> um and that's why I started this <laughs> so something good come out of it anyway well for me it did <laughs> um some ephemera from Tsunami Rose and that is from My Porch Prince and a tag and the pocket is from Artie Mays this is the old design shop as well this is a freebie on her blog because she's got her blog and her Etsy store <clears throat> uh, my porch prints and we have some ephemera a tag <coughs> excuse me and a postcard some lined paper Oh, I love the noise of that. I could listen to that for hours. <laughs> uh, a double pocket here. And this is one of my ephemera pieces. The other one that I showed you, I'd actually printed two to the page. They are much bigger. Um, so you can do that. You know, you can shrink them down a little bit. And another journal card here from my porch prints. And another piece of ephemera from Tsunami Rose. And get that back in get in <laughs> it doesn't want to go i'll sort that in a minute because <sighs> i'm stretching around some lovely markings of this um coffee dyed paper another lacy pocket with the floral um cardstock in the background so that kind of peeks through we have a tiffany and co stamp we have another little booklet that i made just using the scrap pieces using them up, trying to get them piles down. That pops in there and then another little tag from uh, the old design shop. And that is the back. And I really love that page from the, uh, the thank you kit from Artie Mays. There's always a certain page in a kit that you, I just fall in love with and I kind of print loads of them out and use them throughout all sorts of things but there we go that is the journal <clears throat> i hope you like it and like i said i hope you're all keeping well keeping safe keeping busy um hopefully um fingers crossed i'll be back tomorrow night with my live um i can't wait to do that and finish finish that pro uh, project and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do the live for as long as it takes to finish that um, project because obviously I missed out on last night because I'm only doing them Monday, Wednesday and Fridays now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, I might be back tomorrow with a Let's Make as well. I've got a couple of ideas in my head. Um, so hopefully I'll get them done as well. So any questions, just ask and thank you for watching. Bye.